Passengers at Johannesburg or Tambo Airport scrambled to find flights to Europe. The emergence of the new coronavirus Omicron variant in South Africa sparked a worldwide reaction. Professor of Immunology Danny Oltman explains. I know it feels very harsh to people in, in South Africa who've, who've really done the right thing and been terribly speedy and vigilant um, in, in, in their reporting. But I just feel that we were, we were so slow to act on Delta and the whole world paid such a high price for it. Let's, let's try and be forewarned and do it properly this time. So I think, I think it probably is warranted. Last minute PCR tests are now mandatory. But the UK-based academic believes that vaccination still offers protection against the worst effects of this disease. I think it's a case of, of kind of hope for the best and fear the worst, isn't it? So um, in some ways, if you look at the, the straight molecular biology of, of the mutations, it looks potentially quite a lot scarier even than Delta. And don't forget, we thought of Delta, I certainly thought of Delta as, as peak variant and probably it couldn't get much worse than that. This looks potentially worse. Um, on the other hand, there's no reporting from South Africa yet that cases are more severe. And it looks like vaccines may still be doing something because we heard from there yesterday that the people in hospital tended to be the unvaccinated people rather than the vaccinated. In Africa, vaccination rates are significantly lower compared to Europe, the United States and other regions. Distribution of vaccines across the continent is essential to stop future variants. In this particular case, um, if it did come out of Botswana and or South Africa, there, there has been quite a lot of vaccine available there. But, but as you say, um, in the African continent as a whole, um, they've, been, they've been very short of vaccines compared to, to Europe or, or North America. And things like this demonstrate how foolhardy that is. Um, we're just breeding the future variants to come and haunt us. Why do it? The latest available data indicated that South Africa has registered almost 3 million cases of COVID-19 and 89,211 deaths.